Hello guys, this is your second video in this series. In this video I will talking about adding new add, remove or assembly. Let's start. I will record macro first like in the first video. Go to tools, macro, start recording. Choose cut script and hit start. First we are going to define in which body we are going uh, to add this second body. We are now defined in body 2 and we will change it and it will be saved in the script. So go define in both object, both object. Now we select body 2, body which we want to add in this first body and click add. And it will be added to the first body. We can stop recording and see what we got. Tools, macro, macros, and edit. So let, let's explain it a little before we can use any variable. We must define it. So dim part document as document means that we create variable part document one with type a document. And we say that the part document one is Katya active a document it can be any document and Katya says that it's our active document then we have part one with type part and we are saying that now that active document is part we define bodies which belong to this part one and define our our first body yeah, it belongs to bodies and part one, and we define it by by its name part body. This this body. When we were recording macro and define in in this first body, Katya save uh, this line. Part one in work object equals to body one. Uh, we define your shape factory which we need for our add here and our second body body 2 by its name now let's test the script I will return situation as it was so plus Z we have situation which we had before same the script so let's try our script tools macro macro <coughs> run and it did it now we can make two more bodies body 4 and body 5 so let's change the script tools macro macros and uh, body part body will be body 4 so body 4 and body 2 it will be body 5 so it will be add body 5 into body 4 so let's test it ok run and it added body 5 into body 4 so we got our result but this is only good option when we have parts with the same body names so this is good only in this situation so we need more so we need uh, to do more changes so uh, let's inter insert selection option in our script for this first body. I will be create one body and hit tools, macro, macros, edit. So I'll uh, need to declare selection. So dim all cell as selection and set. Set all selection part document one cut the active document so copy this copy this and add selection also we need a filter and it's array filter so 
so this means that uh, we can select only the body the first body as of object first body equals to all selection select element two we need filter and some text like select body in which you want to add and fold you uh, don't worry about uh, this you can just copy and paste it's always the same so now we we have our selection and we must uh, change also here so body body four will be uh, like all selection item one value name so it uh, this means that when i select body six i will get name body six and here i want to add i want to select body six and add body seven into body six so i will change this here to seven so let's try okay and uh, we have problem body here we need to add field that okay on and it says select body in which you want to add i want to add in body six and it add body seven into body six so let's insert insert two more body two more bodies and go to two mass from mass to heavy and now we want to select also this body seven and before that we must clear uh, selection while we have here uh, body eight select so all selection all selection clear and then we can copy this copy it paste here and also we can copy this and paste here also what i want to add here after update message box message box and i i want to say body to body, body to name and uh, add into into and body one name I can say also like uh, done and so let's try it okay save and run so select body in which you want to add i want to add in body a and select body in which you want to select body i didn't change text so the body nine and it says done body nine added it to body eight okay and that is it thank you for watching